Here we are. We are now in episode three. Number three. Sorry, I had to take a little break. Here we go. Okay. So government intervention, basically on the test, that's called public. Public is government. You go to a public school, that's a government school. Government. Also federal aid. So here we go. You're getting public aid. Government aid, federal aid, help. And a big one with the New Deal is government jobs. Government jobs. Okay? Provide work for the unemployed. Okay? CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps. Write that down for the times three. CCC. Civilian Conservation Corps, C-O-R-P-S. Basically, you have to be unmarried and you have to be 18 to 25 years old to get a job. You go work in national parks, you work on roads, mostly in the woods. People would be in barracks and it was very strict. If you fooled around, if you didn't get in your curfew, it was almost like the military. They didn't want people coming over there and just partying. They wanted people to work. 18 through 25, the famous CCC. Another one was called the WPA, the Works Progress Administration. Put that down, WPA. These are called the alphabet programs to help people get government jobs. Should I go over here more? Yes, <laughs> you're a little too close. So WPA, other government jobs. Um, critics of it called it, we piddle around. Because the fact is there were a few times where this would happen. All right, guys, got your government job here. Here's what I want you to do. See this? I want you to dig a hole 30 feet by 30 feet. I feel so happy. I'm finally working. My, my family's going to be so proud of me. I'm going to bring them home a paycheck. All right, good job. Leave that hole there. Now let's go somewhere else. We're going to dig another hole. Now another crew comes in. What are we going to do, boss? All right, man. Your job here is to fill in this hole. What? Fill in that hole. That didn't happen often, but it did happen once in a while. Where just to give people some money, they had them do jobs like that. That's why people made fun of the WPA. They called it We Piddle Around. Other people say, no, that was a great program. For example, theater companies and artists and creative people got money to do work. So, depends. More liberal people would say WPA was a great thing. And another thing was the Tennessee Valley Authority. Huge spot in Tennessee with the river. You dam it up and you produce electricity for a lot of the south. So, it was a huge dam that was made by government workers giving them money to work, trying to stimulate the economy. Okay? Tennessee Valley Authority created a dam which created electricity for lots of places in the South. Okay. Critics, people that were against, a lot of business leaders did not like the New Deal. Right? They wanted free enterprise, capitalism. They didn't want the government getting involved so much. They called it socialism. All right? So... The Supreme Court even declared a lot of the New Deal, some of the New Deal, unconstitutional. They believed that the federal government's power was getting too strong. The Supreme Court considered some of his programs unconstitutional. And think of FDR. What do you think? He was elected four times. 32, 1936, 1940, 1944. George Washington said, you know what, I'm only going to go two terms. Every other president before that said, you know, I'm going to respect George Washington's idea. I'm only going to go two terms, even though it was not an amendment, it was not a law. FDR decided, you know what, we're in the middle of the Depression. Plus, with Hitler getting big, 1940, we're not in it yet, because it was December 7, 1940, when the U.S. got in it. But because of the Depression and World War, uh, not World War, but war was going on in Europe, he said, vote for me again. 
In 1944, he said, vote for me, we're in the middle of a war, we're trying to beat the Japanese and the Germans. So he was elected four times. Mm. So if the Supreme Court says, FDR, this new deal is not working, you're going against the Constitution, you're having programs that's giving the federal government way too much power. FDR said, okay. I'm on my wheelchair here. This is like a chess match. What can I do? I've got it. Hey, Supreme Court. Nine Supreme Court members. You think I'm going to take no for an answer? No. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a new law that's going to change the Supreme Court from nine judges to 13 judges. And those four new judges that I'm going to pick, guess what? They're going to be very liberal. And they're going to be for my New Deal program. So you think you got me? You're wrong. Hey, Congress. Congress. 